Father, why do I look like you? In what way? Like, bigger. When do I get muscles like yours? When you work for them. But Balder was really strong, and he didn't have any muscles. My strength does not come from my body, but both are honed by discipline. What's that mean? It means you've got the strength of a god no matter what, lad. But if you want the physique of one, you'd better start picking heavy things up and putting them back down. <sighs> I love this. Yo there dudes and dudettes, Trooper Lindy Bird Jack's Blade is back and I've been playing some God of War Ragnarok along with some Sonic. And I love the message Kratos and Mimir give Atreus of the difference between building a body that looks like a pillar of work went into it and having the deity level strength of a popular 80s action figure. Now seeing Kratos evolve over the series has always been fun and listening to him break down the training with Spartans was just as fascinating. In Sparta, we were taken from our homes as children and raised in the Agoji. We marched though we drowned. Fought for scraps or starved. Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, or were food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made. Now there are actually a ton of great videos in depth on real life Spartan training and not just, you know, the Gerard, oh my abs are so sexy type stuff. Like, the people who made God of War actually did their homework and I really respect them for that. They really nailed a bunch of stuff they had to go through from childhood to chisel marble bod adulthood, which you can even see in certain flashbacks from previous games and what Kratos talks about in this game. Though, while Spartans are primarily lean and mean, Kratos looks like he could step on stage with the governator at some points. Kratos! You son of a bitch. But something I want to primarily focus on is the status of building a jack body, but also becoming insanely strong. Because I've mentioned this before, big muscles don't always equate to being insanely strong. That's not to say that you're weak by any means, but growing muscles literally requires time under tension, and that can be done between five to 30 reps with light and moderate weight, or just body weight calisthenics as well, as long as you are really focusing on the contractions and giving the muscle a reason to grow. So. While that helps your muscles to grow, it doesn't necessarily mean you'll be deadlifting a truck. But here's a fun little scientific fact to go off of when Atreus was comparing uh, Kratos to Baldur from the previous game, of how Baldur was like a very small guy but he was super strong, while Kratos is like super strong but also super jacked. Which if you've seen my video here on how to build strength but keep your physique smaller in the process I did a couple years back, you'll see the relevance I'm about to talk about. We could talk about bodybuilders compared to strongmen or powerlifters, and if you've been in fitness for a while, you might have seen this form versus function image. Basically breaking down the difference between big muscles for show and big muscles to go. Also, it makes you see how this Thor is intimidating AF, my guy. But did you know that bodybuilders can actually transition to doing strongman or powerlifting at a faster pace than the average person just because of their size? Shocker, I know! Let's talk about that. Before we go into that, check out my 100% free ebook, 5 Rocking Exercises for when you're not feeling up to spending one hour or driving all the way to the gym, and how to make a great home custom workout for yourself in only 20 minutes from your house, alright? One hour versus 20 minutes, what would you prefer doing? Completely free until the 23rd, so just hit the link in the pinned comment right there and pick up your copy today. It shouldn't be that surprising since there's a quite a few bodybuilders out there who lift insanely heavy while getting brolic, but because of their larger muscle fibers, they have the capacity to become overall stronger because they typically only have to train 70-ish percent of their max strength. Once they focus on maximal strength work for a while, they are able to train their muscles to activate a greater percentage of the fibers, especially since they are already trained to lift moderately heavy weights. Now, that's not to say that they could do something like, you know, Olympic lifts, because there's a lot of mobility and technique that goes into that, but they could conceivably become very strong powerlifters or very strong strongmen, because strength work is just largely learning how to use the muscle that you already have, like I talked about in this video on the different types of strength, and if you haven't seen it, go watch it and tell me which type of strength you are and which is like your best forte. You do get some hypertrophy off of it, you know, muscle growth, but it's not as much of course. So the idea of Kratos actively going out lifting heavy random things in his spare time to get them Aphrodite ready muscles. Come on, go! Let's go! It's quite the entertaining visual. Not to mention the building of his body as a byproduct from all the action he does. Now our man Kratos is around 6 feet 4 inches tall, and according to various sources, usually weighs around 240 to 284 pounds. So he is definitely on that WWE roster type build for himself. So 
Hypothetically, if we were to think of a daily routine for him, we have to take into account his godly levels of stamina. And so he'd more than likely be doing a lot of strongman style movements to add bulk to his frame, though I wouldn't be shocked if he added some of these movements shown in this great animation by this creator to his routine as well as just something to pass the time or to grease or groove. And remember, like I said in this video right here, if you have super strength, there are going to be different ways for you to train yourself because you can't just, you know, go to a simple gym and then depending on the time period Kratos is in, it's just gonna be a whole nother thing. But let's talk about greasing the groove real quick with Kratos. For people who don't know what greasing the groove is, it's when you do movements over the course of the day rather than exhausting yourself all in one session. So. Many people have seen great results using this method to grow themselves if they don't have time for hour sessions every day. But again, this is all hypothesis because Kratos could most definitely be doing, you know, a variety of physical activity for himself. Like there's, he does so much stuff on a daily basis where he's taking care of Atreus, he's fighting like different gods, he's fighting giants, he's fighting monsters, he's doing all this different stuff. So there could just be so many other things that he is doing with himself. Also. All the hunting he does with Atreus of various wild animals would be a great source for bulking because for people out there who don't know, eating wild game animals such as, you know, deer, antelope, elk, moose, giant meat, whatever, are all phenomenal sources of just not just, um, you know, eating protein, but B vitamins, minerals, and plenty of iron and zinc. And this type of meat is a very lean source of protein due to the low levels of saturated fat. And I feel Kratos and Atreus eat horse of it in their winter home because like you know with Kratos's strength and Atreus's archery they would be fed for a long period of time just as long as they needed to be just that combination in general is just lethal if I'm just being completely real right now Anyways, have you played God of War Ragnarok yet? If so, tell me what you think of it. Also, tell me if what your favorite God of War game is so far. And just, if you haven't played God of War, you should definitely check it out. I think it's really, really worth it. Also, if you watch this video all the way through, be sure to type Godly Games down below. It lets me see who watched the video all the way through. Of course, I like that. And be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe, and be sure to hit that like button. All these do so much to help the video out. My channel actually had a nuke recently, so I lost a big chunk of subscribers. I was like, oh my God, what the heck happens? But then like, I'm learning like, oh no, I just, I, I, I'm still here. It's just YouTube getting rid of a bunch of bots, so I'm trying to recover from that. But again, if you watch this far, any like interaction with this video helps me out a lot. I really appreciate it. Also, still working on the Mega Spider-Man video, but also working on a TMNT movie video in the same way of my Mega TMNT video because I've just had fun with that. Also, just a bunch of stuff I've been doing. So be sure that you hit that bell icon, subscribe, so you do not miss any of the content. But again, thank you all so much. I really appreciate y'all. Y'all are my Spartans. Every time I see the videos and stuff like that, like I appreciate every single one of y'all. So never forget that. But anyways, like I always say, keep calm, booyah on, and don't forget, moment tie. Now go get some godly level gains like Kratos. Peace.